everybody. All right, testing. Hopefully the sound's working because I'm talking to you now. Uh, check, check. All right, so uh, come back here. Teaspoon, come on. It's time for you to be adopted. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, pod person. Come with me then. Oh, man, he's so excited this morning. I guess he knows what's up. Uh, and most of you know what's up too, um, which is that... Uh, he's been picked up by his adopter. <laughs> I'm picking him up right now. Uh, now I'm going to set him down by his adopter. Uh, so yeah, um, that's that's the story basically. DJ wanted me to make sure that everybody knew that we are officially going to adopt Teaspoon. Um, I guess it's not really, I mean it's a done deal as far as the facts go, um, but I don't think that we're going to technically be able to adopt him until he's had his graduation surgery, because uh, that's how things go, right? We're no exception to the rule. Uh, so I don't know if we'll have another announcement when that happens or what DJ has planned, but um, because everybody got to find out that we were adopting Teaspoon on Discord uh, last night, and uh, some people even before that, uh, no spoilers, um, I just wanted to make sure that people that weren't on our Discord would also have a way to hear about it officially before... Uh, you know, too long before they started hearing about it unofficially from everybody. So it was sort of made official on Discord uh, last night during the Superlative Awards. Uh, spoilers if you haven't watched them yet, sorry. I just ruined the whole thing for you. I hope you had time. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's it in a nutshell. Um, I guess I didn't really plan much to say about it. I should even check to make sure I'm audible on the stream and that we're ready for mailbag. Um, but that's it. That's it in a nutshell. So yeah, and I've known about it for a while, which is why I guess, you know, I don't sound particularly excited. It's not because I'm not excited. It's just because, um, you know, DJ's been trying to get this done for a long time. And, uh, uh I guess, you know, uh, between her and I, uh, she and I, it was, uh, probably official, you know, a month or so ago is when, when that decision was really made. So, I've had some time to come to grips with it. Where, uh, where is Discord? Let's make sure that we got this. Okay, I was, I, I, I always end up, you know, starting on something and getting just completely distracted. Okay, it looks like we do have sound. That's good. Oh, people want a graduation wave. Okay, well we'll do that too, just because it is traditional. Although, like I said, I don't think he's technically graduating until, uh, until later, because we're waiting on his surgery. But okay, all right, bye bye. I'm leaving to stay right here. <laughs> I'm leaving this lap. Okay. Oh, there's a little tiny light here. Christmas light for some reason. Okay. So yeah, that's it. That's it in a nutshell. Um, uh, what else did I need to say about it, though? I can't remember. Uh, he still needs to have his surgery, uh, which is scheduled in February. And hopefully at that point, um, we'll be able to get him his neuter uh, shortly thereafter as well. So... Uh, yeah, that's it. So now you know. I think, again, I think most people knew already on the Discord as of uh, yesterday at least. So, <laughs> hey, buddy. Wow. Hey, good job. He actually got that mouse out of the uh, cup it was in. Cup? Stocking? It's a cup. Okay. Oh, I see. It's Velcro on. Okay, buddy. Here. Let's put it back. Let's do that again. 
He's having a good time this morning. Such a good time. I was I'm like wondering, did I forget to give him his medicine? But I think I remember giving it to him. So uh, I'd hate to give it to him twice. So yeah, I guess he's excited about his adoption too. <laughs> I must have done, because I clearly remember giving um, Custard and Logan theirs, at least I think I do. I got up so early, it throws things off. All right, well, that's that. Let's uh, let's get jumping on the mailbag here. I guess he's just having a good day because it's his adoption day, kind of, or is that the one that comes after the graduation? I don't know. It's all a mess, um, but uh, yeah, there you have it. Little teaspoon is here to stay. Uh, so... Let's get into it. We've got mailbag from yesterday to finish up, or as much as we can. And then the plan is uh, whatever we don't get done today, plus the stuff that's under the tree, DJ and I will open tomorrow. And I know I promised you a time and I didn't get one from DJ. So I'm just going to say we'll do it at 11 o'clock tomorrow, same as today. Uh, I think that'll work out really well. And if there's going to be a change, I'll make sure it gets posted on the stream for everybody to see. All right. So, uh, oh, this is beautiful. It's a real a traditional looking card with gold leaf. It's got two beautiful red cardinals, I guess, because they're red and that's Christmassy, although they're not really shaped right. That's okay, though. It's very uh, abstract. And inside it says, uh, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, wherever you go, may joy fill the air. Wherever you look, may beauty be there. Whatever you do, may both of you share a wonderful holiday season. So sweet. Uh, it says, love, Fawcett, a.k.a. Fossey Bella, Ace, and Dean and Renee. Oh, thank you, the adopters, of course. Uh, Merry Christmas, and thank you for all you do for all the moms and kittens. We appreciate you and are so happy we have our uh, wee kittens we got from K.A., and love you for it always. Oh, that is such a sweet sentiment. I'm thinking this is not a letter, but a photo. Oh, what a great photo of these two. I mean, this is a brilliant photo. I can see the hats are a little funny photoshopped on there, but that's a great photograph. Such cuties, former graduates. That does remind me of one thing that I should say about Teaspoon that I know is going to be a question for a lot of people is what about his endowments? Um, and I think the, the answer to that, um, assuming that nobody has any strong objections, would be that stuff that was sent like specifically um, specific to uh, Teaspoon, I think, is stuff that DJ and I will keep and, and deploy for him over time. Or, uh, you know, some of the things aren't even for him as much as for his adopters, so I guess they're kind of for DJ and I. And, uh, you know, stuff like the, um, uh, DJ still got in her closet, the little, there's like a little box with a teaspoon on it, um, and... Uh, uh, we've got um, uh, a number of things like that. His little, his eyes, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know exactly where those are off the top of my head, but I know they're around. So um, all that kind of stuff that was sent that's real specific to Teaspoon, we'll, we'll keep um, because, you know, it just doesn't make sense to do anything else with it. And uh, everybody's been so wonderful. And then for the stuff that is not real specific to him, you know, uh, stuff that he's got plenty of around here, mostly the toys and the beds and stuff uh, that people have sent for him, I think we'll mostly just sort of um, uh, re-endow uh, to whoever uh, needs it. So I think, that's the, I think that's the right way to go with it. And again, if anybody feels differently about it, uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, but I, I think that's probably the right thing to do, uh, you know, barring any strong objections. So, all right, that's that. I didn't want to forget to say that because I know some people are going to want to know. Uh, this is cute. It's got uh, flowers on the front that say blessings beyond measure. And on the back, it's got Santa Claus and a snowman and a cardinal all hanging out together. I shouldn't be using my fingers for this. I should use a letter opener, which will be easy to find. Um, I know I'd like to tell you that since yesterday, I uh, organized all the stuff out of the box like I was supposed to, but I didn't. Uh, at the last minute, just before mailbag, I took everything out of the box that didn't belong and put it on my desk. So, I mean, that's technically a good first step, right? We're making progress. Uh, it counts. It definitely counts. <laughs> this is cute. It's a chicken riding a chicken uh, holding Christmas tree uh, lights, and it says, Peck the Halls, which is a very cute sort of pun. It says, From our flock to yours, wishing you a jolly holiday. 
Merry Christmas and Happy Healthy New Year from Elizabeth. I think that says Elizabeth. Uh, but there's a written notes, uh, type notes. So we'll, oh, and it says OK to read on screen. Perfect. So we can do that. This is cute. Oh, there's some on the back too. Wow. All right. We'll put that up just like that for the moment. The note, okay to read on stream, dear Mr. A, a.k.a. the shiny butler, a.k.a. the envy of all wives whose husbands are unfamiliar with vacuums or poop scoops, a.k.a. Chris Jansen, and Dr. DJ, a.k.a. Kitten Taster, Kitten Namer Extraordinaire, a.k.a. DJ, a.k.a. Deepa Jansen, uh, faculty, mom, cats, kittens, and K.A. community, Merry Christmas and best wishes for the new year. This is my first time writing in. I started watching Kitten Academy during the pandemic when you brought Port into the kitten room from the transport and was instantly hooked. I missed her giving birth as she popped so quickly upon arrival and haven't missed another birth. You and DJ are awesome, not only for fostering but for welcoming, welcoming us into your home and being entertaining fabulous hosts. I love the puns, the dad jokes, and the close-ups. Close-ups is in bold for some reason here. Uh, I joined Discord last year and am loving the KA community. For those not on Discord, it really broadens the KA experience, even for lurkers. Lots of pictures, conversations, and news. This year, I even signed up for the KA Christmas card and the Discord Secret Santa gift exchange. I've gotten many toy and treat ideas for my cat, Ink. Uh, it's a great name. And my grand cats, my grown children's animals, Dante and Mescal. My son's girlfriend recently got a puppy, and it is a lot of extra work, so your method of adopting adult retired show dogs is genius. I have seen videos of Elsie and think it would be awesome to have a dog on the faculty, although I totally understand why you are putting it off until due time. Keep on keeping it, kitten. Love and smoogles from Elizabeth, a.k.a. Ink's mom, a.k.a. Dante and Mescal, and Domino's Nana, a.k.a. Honey Bunches or Honey Bunches 5938 on Discord. Well, thank you so much for writing. That is uh, really sweet. And uh, I'm glad that you've managed to, to find us on Discord. And I do know I, I need to do close-ups more often. Uh, I am, I'm, I'm still working on it, I promise. <laughs> so uh, I, I know I feel the same way uh, about it, really. Um, there was something else that, that uh, I thought of while I was reading that that I wanted to mention. Um, oh, Right, the Christmas card and the, the KA community, and, um, you know, I normally mention how nice it is to hear from someone who's sort of been following us for a while, for the first time, I like that. Um, I was thinking earlier about the lurkers, you know, people that are on Discord that don't necessarily talk a lot on there, they just watch what other people are saying, and obviously that's the vast majority of people, it, it kind of has to be, because there's so many people there now. Um, but uh, the fact that, that there were almost a, a thousand people who signed up for the Christmas card this year, uh, and that is entirely through people that you know are on Discord. That's the only place that we really offered for people to sign up for that. Um, and I think that it really says a lot about the number of people that are actually active, you know, participants, even though they don't say much. Um, so uh, I think that's that's wonderful, and I'm glad that you got a chance to sign up for it this year too. So, really good stuff. All right, next up, um, let's see, a red envelope. Custard, do you want to sit on my lap, buddy? You seem like you want to sit on my lap. I don't mind. Come here, come here, big guy. There you go. Okay. Uh, we've got a very contemplative-looking little orange kitty, and there we go. Wishing you a perfectly wonderful holiday season from Mooch, Trinket, and Token. Oh, those are great names. Thank you, Kathy and John. Uh, thank you, Kathy and John. There's also a note that says, okay to read on stream. Oh, with some stickers. Oh, that's cute. He's, he's carrying a little toy chick, I think, in its mouth. It's got a great smile. What a, what a cute little um, sticker there. All right. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, mailbag aficionados, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens. Did I miss anyone? I don't think so. Hello from Trinket's family. Oh, our first year with Trinket has been nothing short of glorious chaos. We are forever grateful for Kitten Academy bringing us such a wonderfully goofy, loving cat. And since everyone knows, from Lay's potato chips to tattoos, you can't stop at one, we adopted an even younger cat from Dawes at the end of September. 
Trinket's new brother, Token, is her best playmate, target, and partner in crime. Our senior cat, Mooch, even gets into the act, and three, the three seem as though they've all known each other forever. Trinket and Token are huge fans of the Kitten Academy stream, but Token is quite addicted, stopping whatever he's doing to watch. I suspect he would very much like to play with any of the cats at the Academy, but we'll have to settle for admiring them all from his perch in the living room. I like, I like the way the name Token matches Trinket. I, I didn't put that together, but uh, that's cool. Enclosed is a sticker of Trinky as I commissioned artwork of all of our cats, past and present, with Jamestown. Oh, I thought that looked like a uh, Jamestown style. That's so cute. The commission was to be a Christmas surprise, but after seeing everything that had been created, I couldn't wait and shared everything early. I wanted to sing, send along Trinket's adorable sticker for you. It de depicts Trinket sitting proudly with her favorite toy, a stuffed chick. Thank you for all the care and spoogles shown to Trinket and so many others before her, and for all those who follow. From our family to yours, Merry Christmas and all our best for a wonderful future. Catherine LR on Discord. Occasionally, not as much as I would like. <laughs> That's cute. Thank you, Catherine. That's very sweet. This is beautiful. I just, I think Jamestown's uh, artwork is adorable. And uh, here we go. I get to put that in the box to bring upstairs. That's going to work out just fine. Uh, thank you very much for that. Okay. From the cat. It's a beautiful little floofy tiny cat uh, with a, a red ball of twine. And it says, from the cat, I pers personally, I think you are pretty awesome. And you know how picky I am. Meowy Christmas, DJ and Mr. A. Uh, Fiona May the cat. My owner is Diane in Cromwell. We watch you all the time. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, I hope I got that, those names right, um, because their hand it is, uh, anyway, it's Diane, though. I got that from here, so that's awesome. Cromwell sounds like some place that should be overseas, uh, but apparently it is a Connecticut. So, uh, Diane and Cromwell and Fiona May, great name, the cat. Uh, thank you for the Christmas card. Okay, Merry Christmas, it says. And on the inside... Oh, I, was, I, I think I cut myself off in the middle of saying that I always get distracted working on stuff. And before Mailbag, I was working on getting two new cameras set up, which is why um, the feed went staticky for a couple moments. Uh, that was kind of my fault. Um, but uh, I did not get them quite entirely working yet. But I, I feel hopeful. I also just put in orders for some more cameras because I feel like we need a few more of these cameras that sit on the floor in various rooms. Uh, I'm missing one, at least right now, in the living room that we need. So I just ordered two more of those, two more of the ceiling cameras, and I've got two uh, good cameras that I think we're about ready to get deployed. So uh, we're going to have a little bit better coverage coming up soon. Uh, this is a cute little pop-up card. I don't know if there's anything written in it, though. It looks like it's going to make a little sort of diorama of three snowmen. Here we go. It does, and it's very cute, and there must be some card going on. Oh, there we go. Okay, it opens in the back. May your Christmas be merry and bright with loving cats and kittens to snuggle with. Happy New Year, too, from Carol, who is Carol's Cats on Discord. Uh, that's cool, because we can use this to make sure it stands up. So, uh, thank you. Those are, those are definitely going to be fun. Uh, thank you, Carol and Carol's Cats. Uh, let me do one more check to make sure that everybody is hearing me and that we're okay. I do believe we're all right. I just want to make sure. Good, good, good. Okay. There we go. All right. This one. Oh, I think I know who this one is. There's owl stickers all over. Uh, so I think that gives it away. All right. Let's find out. What are you looking at, Sprout? Oh, this is cool. Wait, uh, did I... I want to make sure I didn't leave anything in the envelope there. Okay, cool. This is uh, Santa and his reindeer, and it looks like like a, almost like an old-timey uh, magazine style uh, of drawing. And then it's put on this shiny red background. The whole card has like a shiny red. Very pretty. Oh, it's a pop-up. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, very cute. And I like the way that you've added little stickers around. So it's the same thing on the pop-up. I, somehow I didn't see that coming. Um, 
I like how you added little stickers around too for that. Look at that. Oh man, that's going to be too much temptation. Although Maggie, Maggie has been on sort of a rampage uh, this morning. Rampage, I say, like just super like hyper and trying to get into it with everybody, and uh, still hasn't gone after these for some reason. Uh, so maybe her, she's changing with her tastes. <laughs> uh, I have no idea. Okay, okay to read on stream. Well, thank you for that. Um, it says, Dear Mr. A, DJ, and all the faculty and students at Kitten Academy, sending my fondest wishes for a warm and cozy 2023 holiday season with all the new toys you could possibly want. May your batteries be charged and your uh, napping spots be comfy and quiet. Here's to everyone who needs an adopter being matched to their perfect people and to plenty more finding their way to the KA community just when they need it. Thank you, Mr. A and DJ, for your parts uh, in creating my favorite internet community. Oh, hang on. i got to get this. There we go. Um, KA has been there to carry me through a lot of tough times, asking so little in return. I cannot say how often... Uh, how grateful I am that you decided once upon a time to keep an eye on a litter of kittens by streaming video of them to YouTube. I hope everyone there at the Academy and watching on YouTube has a beautiful holiday season. See you all in 2024, festively, Alice the Owl. Uh, P.S. I answer phones for work the other day. Someone heard my name as Owl. I almost didn't correct her. I have also been misheard as Iris, Olive, and Alex and would answer to any of them if it wouldn't get me in trouble. I like my real name, but I do wonder who I'd be if I had another. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's some serious nominative determinism, I guess. Uh, you know, that, that your name sort of decides who you are. Um, I don't know if it does or not, but you know, you just you never know about these things. There's no way to test it, is there? Uh, as far as it goes, why not? Why not let people call you Owl? You know, go by anything you want. Uh, before I was Mr. A, I went by Scribble, and uh, that's that's all DJs ever called me. I think I think DJs only called me like Chris, maybe once in my life. Uh, if she did, it would really sound weird. So uh, yeah, it's uh, you know, just use whatever name you want. It's fine. I, I'm telling you, it's fine. Um, okay, so. Uh, this is beautiful. It's got uh, some uh, snuggled up deer on it. They're snuggled up in the snow, and the snow has uh, sparkly glitter on it, too. And it says, enjoy the beauty of the season. Oh, uh, so that's real pretty. And then on the inside, we've got Mr. A and Dr. DJ wishing you quiet moments to take in the wonder of it all, sending warm wishes for a Merry Christmas and wonderful 2024. Thank you for sharing your passion for mom cats their, and their babies. You both are true treasures from Dave and Annette. Oh, thank you, Dave and Annette. And then this little package here is labeled Mr. A and Dr. DJ and Maggie. Now, Maggie's out right now, and she must be in the living room. Maggie! She's probably not going to come just because I called her. Uh, this is a tiny sparkly card with cats playing the piano at Christmas time. And, oh, it's a tiny pop up. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> DJ's going to get a kick out of how small it is. Uh, let's see. I think there's got to be a little something to prop it open. Maybe. Or maybe it will just stay. Inside we have the same scene of cats playing the piano. Adorable. Uh, I do hope Maggie finds these. We've got quite a few of them building up now for her. All right. Two more letters. So I think we're going to get through all of those today. <laughs> This one says, Merry Christmas, with a moose uh, all decked out for Christmas. That's a very cute drawing. It's got the Christmas lights strung between his giant antlers and hanging off of them. Hi, Custard. Please read card first, then letter. Okay to read both card and letter on stream. Thank you for that. It's always good to know. It's the best time of the year because of people like you. I want to wish you, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, and students, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope that the new year brings you all an amazing and blessed new year. Love always, Sandra and Aziel. Uh, Aziel, I think, the cat. Wow, that's a cool name, Aziel. All right. And then our note. Ooh. Uh, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ faculty and students, I have been a long fan of Kitten Academy since 2020. My first real class was Bebop and her Weebops. 
Uh, Gabby and her gifts were still at the Academy when I started tuning in. Ever since I watched my first video, I've been totally hooked on KA. Watching the cats and kittens have helped me as I have been going through a tough time these last couple of months. The live streams, the close-ups, the micro, and mailbag have brightened up my life so much, and I just want to personally thank you both for everything you guys have done for the mom cats, the kittens, the pregnant cats, and of course for the faculty. You both are absolutely fantastic people, and I definitely admire what you both do for the cats. We surely do need more people like you guys to help cats and homeless animals around the world. I will be joining Discord soon, but I have to figure out how it works first. Also, my greatest wish for the end of this year or the beginning of the new year is for Till, Serenity, Drizzle, and Sprout to find their forever home soon. So please give the faculty, the mom cats, and kittens my love and kisses, especially my little guy, Teaspoon. Uh, P.S. I think Teaspoon should be a faculty. Love always, Sandra. Well, Sandra, I've got some good news for you, uh, <laughs> uh, which I guess you know. Um, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for writing. When it comes to uh, Discord, I know it would be wonderful to have you there. And if you do have trouble figuring it out, um, I know you can write to headmaster at kitten.academy, just email. And uh, I don't know, Lisa might be able to help you, or if not, she can uh, send that along to one of the admins who have helped a lot of people uh, get Discord sort of sorted out. So, so yeah, if you're on our Patreon already and, uh, and you haven't been able to sort of get from Patreon to Discord, um, there's people who can help, wonderful people. And thank you to them, I do. Um, it's wonderful that, that they're so helpful to so many people. Just, just a lot of wonderful people in the community. Uh, and I hope I hope everything works out okay for you, whatever's going on the last couple of months. You know, I'll say without getting into detail too much that uh, um, all of you have helped me through a lot of rough times too, and uh, that means a lot to me. So, all right, uh, here we've got kittens in a Christmas in Christmas stockings hung up by the uh, fireplace, I suppose, on the mantle with care. Uh, one of them a little bit upside down, very cute. And it says, may the holidays be filled with your favorite things. Merry Christmas. Thank you for all you do and for another successful year of kitten fostering from TFP Tech, Kitty Girl, Bella Kitty, Kanga, and Crouton. Yes, wonderful. Thank you for writing. Um, that's great. <laughs> uh, gosh, you had a, I, I can't remember what it was now. You had a really good line uh, during the, um, uh, on, the, on the chat um, during the uh, superlatives last night that stood out at the time. Uh, I've lost it now, though. Um, still, uh, good job. <laughs> All right. Well, now we've got to get into the packages. Uh, so let's just see. Uh, there's one or two that I can reach without getting up. Oh, that's heavy, though. I didn't... Uh, what is going on? How is that so heavy? It's tiny. It can't be that heavy. Oh, yeah! Okay, wow. Uh, so it is heavy, and it is from Tanya with a J, and it's got all these cute stickers on it. Uh, oh wow, this, these are cool stickers. This guy's uh, licking a fish that he's holding. Uh, this guy's wearing a paper bag on his head. This one has uh, floofy hair done up with barrettes. And then this one is uh, ready to go to war, wearing a helmet and a rocket launcher and a bandolier of bullets. Wow. I thought our cats got into fights. Uh, and then the guy on the top here is just uh, wearing a knit hat. Very cool. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to get a knife. All right. See, that wasn't a knife. This is a knife. Okay. Ooh, oh, okay. Inside we have some uh, uh, tissue paper, and it's sealed with a snowflake. Very cool. All right, I'm going to have to tear through that, and we have a card. Oh, oh my, and we have something delicious in here. The card is sealed with a snowman. Hi, Custer, you want to get back in your pod? There you go, pal. All right. Oh, this is a lovely winter scene of uh, uh, wrapped packages sitting at the mailbox with the flags up, so they're being sent out, apparently, uh, in a little house in the woods. It says, wishing you all the gifts of the season, love and hugs from Utah. Okay, 
And uh, there's a note here. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, the holiday approaches and I'm not ready, of course. Yeah, tomorrow's Christmas and I'm not ready, of course. So uh, you say it's December 15th and I'm in a rush to get this package into the mail in hopes you get it for the mailbag on the 23rd. We'll see how USPS handles it. LOL. On top, you'll find some, yes, I, on top, I did find some Utah Truffles Belgian Milk Mint Chocolate Candy. Wait, uh, is it candy or chocolate? Truffles, uh, these are so creamy and delicious. And since you've been working out, we trust that any calories from these truffles will be quickly burned away. Good luck and enjoy. <laughs> I've already had to work through a lot. I opened the, um, uh, I had one Buffalo Oreo yesterday. I'm very proud of myself. And then I, uh, I opened the um, sponge, uh, the not sponge candy, uh, the honeycomb, um, whatever. And uh, I decided it had to go into another container. The other container that I got out was just a little bit too small, so I had to eat all the overflow. Um, so, yeah, I managed to overdo it nonetheless. Um, anyway, we trust that any calories will be... Okay, good. Good luck and enjoy. The wrapped gift at the bottom of the box, you may open or save until Christmas. Oh, well. Uh, you know what? Yeah, go ahead and open it. I've actually had this gift since last December. They arrived after I shipped you our very first endowment package for the kittens and some Christmas gifts for you and DJ. They wouldn't have fit into that box anyway. So I thought I'd send them along for Valentine's Day. That didn't happen either. <laughs> LOL. Um, they were brand new as of 2022, but have now been on the market for a bit. Anyway, we hope you and DJ will enjoy them when you have time. Thanks to you both for being so awesome with your mom, cat, and kitten fostering. Merry Christmas, friends. Uh, love and hugs from Utah, Leonard, uh, a.k.a. Leo, and Tanya. Um, P.S. Leo's my other half, not my cat, as you concluded in my last letter. You gave us a good giggle. All right, well, I don't know, and Leo the lion is a thing, right? So, you see, we can't... All right, sorry. I'm sorry, Leonard. Um, okay. Wow, this is heavy, and it feels like uh, it must be books, I'm guessing, and it's so beautifully wrapped. I could... I could put it with the stuff for tomorrow, even though you said to go ahead and open it now. Um, but considering you expected it to show up on the 23rd and I still should open it now, uh, I feel like I should open it now. Plus, um, in my family anyway, we managed to pester my parents into always letting us open one present uh, the day before Christmas and then all the rest on Christmas Day. So I guess this is my day before. But look at this. It's got, uh, you've wrapped it. You've tied it up with twine and put on a really cute uh, to Chris and Deepa from Leonard and Tanya. And then um, with, a, with a little bit of uh, uh, a pine tree branch, I guess is what I want to say. So that's really cute. Um, I feel like I should be able to just slide this off. Oh, maybe I can. Look at that. All right. There we go. And then let's open this up. Uh, DJ was watching, um, I think I mentioned this in a previous mailbag. She's watching these like Japanese travel blogs. Not even really that. But uh, anyway, um, one of them was about their gift wrapping and all, all about it. And it's fascinating. There's all kinds of stuff to know that I just couldn't even relate. Um, but the one thing that got me is how uh, they, they carefully open all of their wrapping paper because that's the way to show respect. And I understand that, and I've always felt like that's a more respectful thing to do, but it's not really part of our culture here to do it that way. And I don't, fundamentally, I don't understand it. I mean, I, I get it if you say, like, it's for respect, but what are you going to do with all the wrapping paper? It, it's going to have to get thrown out anyway. It's not like I can just keep it all, right? If I did, it would never get reused. It would just be hoarded. So I feel like tearing it apart uh, shows your enthusiasm for it, right? Just different cultures do things in different ways, and uh, it is endlessly interesting. So anyway, that was my attempt to open it with a little more grace than I usually do. And it's still, it's still torn and has to go in the garbage, so I don't know what to do about that. These look like great books. Wow. This is, first off, Cats Work Like This by David St. John Thomas and Gareth St. John Thomas. I just wonder how they got their jobs. Um, very cute. Oh, uh, David St. John Thomas was a British publisher who founded David and Charles in the UK and USA. All right, over 30 books, including For the Love of a Cat. Oh, I, I think that book might be here somewhere. 
So sweet. So this is uh, cats work like this. Introduced. Oh, okay. So it is basically instruction on cats. Uh, the chapter title sounds super interesting though, because there's some that are. Uh, chapter two is introducing Mr. Punk, um, but we have where cats go and what happens at night, where a cat sits, cats in charge, cats with jobs. Oh, uh, what your cat thinks of you. Oh, very interesting. And then throughout, oh, it's beautiful photographs on every single page. Oh, those are great. Wow. Well, thank you so much for this. Look at this guy. His name is Tortoro. Easy for me to say. And that's a, just all the photos are fantastic. This is going to be a lot of fun to take a look at. And then the other one, this is uh, also super heavy together. This They really made that package weigh a lot. Um, this is Paw Verbs for a Cat Lover's Heart, Inspiring story, Stories of Feistiness, Friendship, and Fun by Jennifer Marshall Bleakley. Um, and it has, a, it has a signature page in the front where you uh, can put the uh, owner of the book and the pet uh, in, in the front. That's cute. So uh, this is apparently cat stories and devotionals. That is also really sweet. And uh, look at that. Wow, so many of them and also great photography. Oh my goodness. This is... <laughs> This is really cute. It's titled, What Happened to Your Cat? I don't know what that's going to mean, but uh, look at how cute that is. Wow. All of it. Great photography. And they all, page numbers are each done with little fish uh, that are tags. They're like collar tags, not just fish. So that's like two levels of, uh, of I don't know, interesting. You know, they could have just been fish and it still would have been appropriate for cats, but they each have a little hole punched in the top that's like for a collar tag. That's cute. Oh, Panda's favorite napping spot, Brooklyn's cat, Panda. Well, that certainly does look like a panda, doesn't it? Looks like our panda did. And I uh, noticed that she's sitting like on or in front of a laptop. You can barely see it, <laughs> but it's there. That's very cat. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's also going to be fun to go through. Thank you very much for those. I'm going to put them in this direction because there's a stack of books right there that they could go on. Um, thank you so much for those. All right. I'm going to see what else we can reach from here. Oh, got it. All right. Uh, oh, I thought I... St oh, this one does have stickers all over the top. Wow, we got little calicos with hearts uh, and hearts around their eyes. And a bunch of little orange kittens and black kittens. And a lot of cute little kitten stickers. Ooh. The Christmas Knife Guard, a tree, a, a tree worse than Charlie Brown's. No, I don't think so. At least this one's full. Um, right there, a tree worse than Charlie Brown's. We have the Christmas Knife Guard. We have Merry Christmas Kitten Academy in a red envelope. And look at all this wrapping is uh, very Christmassy. So, all right. I think I mentioned this once when I was very young. I was dating a girl whose sister's name was Missy, and this was back before any of us had cell phones to speak of. Uh, they were around, but they weren't as common. And uh, I had called their house, and as you know, somebody else will pick up and then have to yell. Uh, and she had picked up the phone, but her sister got on too to see if it was for her. And she goes, it's Christmassy. And I swear, that's a true story. Otherwise, it wouldn't even be worth telling. But it just always sticks out whenever I hear the Christmassy. Um, it just, yeah. Uh, all right. Okay to read on stream. And look at this little pop-up here. It's a snow globe that's made out of, like, it's a pop-up snow globe that's made out of transparent uh, paper, I guess. Transparent plastic so that it's actually looking like a snow globe. How cute. Oh, hey. Uh, it's cats playing the piano. Is it the same cats playing the same piano? I think it is. Oh, it certainly is. Wow. What is happening? Look at that. Hmm. All right. Well, I hope this artist is getting paid a lot for this. Uh, does it even say trinkets, pop-up cards? No, it doesn't really say. Uh, huh. That's cute. Okay. Merry Christmas, Mr. A, to you and dear Dr. DJ. Just sending you and the kitties some last-minute silly treats, including red, red, blah, 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 Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Toys, a childhood favorite of mine. Please distribute the unlabeled ones as you see fit. And the others are Marked Till and Serenity. 
Uh, I'm sorry, the others are as marked. Till and Serenity get the Abominable Snowman and the Elf, while Sprout and Drizzle get Rudolph and Clarice. My little tabby girl, Minx, loves to jump into my lap when I whistle Clarice's song, There's Always Tomorrow, and Red River Valley, too. Have no idea why. So the toys are from my tabby to the tabby twins. Wow, that's that sounds super cute. So these are clearly from, um, uh, what is the title of that with the, the land of misfit toys and stuff? I, is it just titled Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Oh, these are actually branded from it, too. I don't think I've seen that since I was a kid, at least not all the way through. You know, you catch bits of it here and there on TV, um, but uh, it's been a while. So, uh, let's see here. So, we have, uh, <laughs> these are so cute. So, these are cat toys, and they're all part of the, the brand. Oh, oh, this is kind of cool. The uh, Rudolph toy has like a, I think it's a little pocket that the, the nose goes into so you can pop it out. That's an interesting idea. It is currently popped out. I have to see if I can get it in there. And then it's on a string too so you don't lose it. Yes, that is so cool. Ah, I like that. That's really cute. See, it's got a cute little nose there and then you can pop it out and uh, here it's on a, oh, there we go, on a string with a bell. Uh, that's that's fun. That's a little extra fun. Hmm. I don't. I would not have thought that. All right. So there's Rudolph. Oh, and uh, Clarice. Aren't they cute? And then uh, let's see. Let's go back here. We have the Abominable Snowman and the Elf right here. I think that's right too. Hi, Maggie. Look, this is all for you. You got plenty of stuff for you. Um, Rudolph and Clarice. Okay. There we go. The snowballs, that must be these, or, oh wait, this is the abominable snowman here, to till, it even labeled, okay, I got it. Oh, it's labeled with one of your cool labels. Oh, this says jingle all the way, happy holidays. All right, there we go. Ah, okay, throwing him around. So uh, this is the snowman, I got it. Yep, that's correct. And it has been a while since I, I have seen it. Here we have a Rudolph and uh, it looks like Clary set for the Tabby Twins. I think that must have been what you were about to say or did say. Um, the snowballs are for Callie. Is this labeled for Callie? There's the set. <laughs> Let's keep looking here. Let's just find out for sure. And we have a second Rudolph with the nose that comes out and uh, a second Clary's. And these definitely have to be the snowballs then by a process of elimination. Oh, I see. They are snowballs because they each have a different character on them. I was just thrown off by the fact the top one happens to be the Abominable Snowman character. So I thought they were all going to kind of be that. But they're not. One has a Christmas hat and the other two have Rudolph and Clarice. Then we have Rudolph and Clarice here in a hostage situation, uh, sitting back to back and tied up with rope, just as you would be. Uh, those are for... From Minx to the Tabby Twins... Very cute. Oh, oh, okay, very good. All right. Um, the snowballs are for Callie and her beautiful tinies. Please give an extra kiss to January. Uh, I'm already smitten with him. Also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think I should put this in my pocket so I remember to bring it up to them because they could use it right away. Uh, also, I just did all of their, like, the Christmas bedding that we can put in their box. It's in the dryer. It's dried, so I should, I should switch that out since we've just got the one day left. Uh, also, there's a silly, little silly gift for DJ. You can peek if you like. Um, well, these are all wrapped up so nicely. I don't know if I can, and besides that, we'll be opening them tomorrow. That must be what this is, though, I'm guessing. I hope she likes, uh, let's see, silly little gift, and I hope she likes the garland I found at a new local party store. That's where I found the sign, too. Well, uh, hang on. Uh, we have a cute little wrapped gift here that says, for DJ. Uh, oh, uh, these are all from Carrot Palooza, by the way, and the little tag just came off of this as I picked it up. I want to make sure we don't lose that part, so I'm just going to tuck it under there, put this right back here, bring this out there. This is one of those uh, dish towels, the Swedish uh, dish towels. DJ, DJ really liked these. I don't know if she still does, but she bought like an entire stack of them. Actually, I'm guessing the only reason she doesn't use them is I put them away with the other towels that are uh, in a place that DJ can't reach. <laughs> I don't do it to be mean. 
it's just now occurring to me that they got like pushed all the way probably to the back of there and she doesn't even know where they are anymore um, but she she bought like a whole bunch of these little swedish uh, uh like these towels you get them wet and they anyway it's cool um, let's see. I hope she likes the garlic found a party store. That's where I found the sign too. Had to send you a towel uh, because I see spork, eddy, teaspoon, maybe custard hiding, possibly even buttons on it. Since you're working out, I've kept the candy to a minimum and I apologize in advance for the apple sours. Oh, that sounds good though. Bless you and DJ and our extended KA family for everything you do for needy cats and kittens. Have a wonderful Christmas. Love, Robin, aka Carrot Palooza. Well, thank you so much, Carrot Palooza, and um, let's just see here then about the rest of uh, what you were mentioning. These are just wrapped up with tissue paper, so I don't know. Um, I think that means I can open them now, right? Let's find out. Oh, oh no, I think I opened too much. DJ is going to think this is the coolest thing in the entire world. It says assorted chocolate, so it's a tin of chocolate, but it is in the shape of a Christmas Express train. Oh man, look at how pretty that is. That is really cool. And it's uh, like actual tin, and it looks like it opens on either side. And uh, it's got a lot of embossed shape to it too. It's not just flat and printed. That's super cool, and I think, I think that's gonna be, DJ's really gonna think that's cute. And then, so expect to see it a lot every Christmas under the tree, like some of the other stuff we've got here, like the, the uh, this is from, for Logan, apparently. It says Logan on it, the mailbox from last year, with the little flag that you can put up, also tin. Uh, that's just one example. We've got that old cookie thing that uh, I think came with those lavender cookies. Oh, they're so good, the lemon lavender cookies. Okay, uh, enough about that. This is, oh, this is the towel. Okay, I see you mentioned a towel. This is beautifully printed. Uh, it's a bunch of cats in a tree with a little Elsie dog sleeping underneath. There you go. I see why you mentioned all the cats that you thought you could see in there. I was trying to think of how you could possibly see so many cats in this towel, but it's very abstract, so why not? Uh, but this towel makes so much more sense. There we go. And then here must be the sign that you mentioned yes indeed it is a sign oh <laughs> now that's cute i'm just going to leave this out here for everybody to enjoy uh there we go put that in there i think uh oh i don't know yeah no i guess this is cool i was just the the shape uh, with the, the cat head in the corner there looks almost like it's trying to be a gravestone but it's not it's not uh, it's got the right shape to it anyway. And besides, we just need context. That's perfect. We're just going to leave that right out there where everybody can see it. And then finally, something here. These are so cutely wrapped. I probably should have saved them until tomorrow, but... Eh. Ooh. Oh, I see. This looks like a uh, cute kitten's garland. Okay, you did say garland. These kittens are cute, too. Uh, this little guy on the bottom reminds me of those stickers that we got yesterday of uh, the, the cat that I was just seeing again as I put them away. I want to see the garland, but I'm going to need to open it with a knife, apparently. So, let's do this. I'm going to need uh, Carrot Palooza's note later to remember the disposition of all these items. Although they are mostly labeled, so that's good. I'm still going to put the note with them, that way I don't miss anything. This is going to go right under here with the other one. I'll stack them together for DJ. I see it's not wrapped, and I'm probably meant to open it now, but DJ's not here, so that can wait. And we have another one of these. This is going to go right here with the chocolate stuff, and then I think we're all set. Uh, these can also go with me, I guess. All right, now, I thought by now I would have found the knife for sure, uh, but I have not. Here, can I put this around your cute little box, too? Can we do that? This is very cute. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I tried. I didn't try very hard, but I did try. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Let's find out what this party garland looks like. Oh, Ooh. oh I see. Wow, this really hangs. Uh, it's going to be quite large, in fact. I think we will have to deploy this next year. Uh, but I want everybody to see... How cute they are. It is all the kittens that were on the front. 
but they are in the form of a party garland. There you go. You get the idea. Look how pretty that is. And I can see it's got these little balls all over it too that will, um, you can poof them up to be 3D. That's going to be super pretty. And then this must be um, some additional little bits, I guess. Oh, a stand maybe if you wanted to stand it up somewhere. I don't, we'll figure it all out together. That's, those cats are really cute though. So, oh, I see it looks a lot like this, doesn't it? This is what those little things are. Uh, another piece of garland apparently. And they've each, and I'm seeing it now, they've each got that actual picture of the balls uh, right there for them that they're playing with. Very cute. Uh, here's the picture that's a little bit more authentic. So yeah, you can see this one's strung up here and this one's strung up below. And the colors match too. DJ will like that. She loves the matching color stuff. Um, she, you know, for a long time was trying to get the colors to match in all of our rooms. Uh, you know, within the room, I mean. And uh, I'm sure she would still prefer that if we had the time. Um, I'm trying to figure out where to put this. I mean, technically, it should go right over there. So I'm just going to put it that way because that's where the pile of stuff uh, just off camera is of all the Christmas stuff that didn't get put out yet. And this I don't want to mistake this for, for stuff that should go out. So I'm just going to put that there like that. Okay. Fantastic. How are we doing for time? Well, not so great, huh? Um, I think some of that other stuff is going to go faster. Let me see if we can grab a couple of the boxes that have been drop shipped real quick and get some of this out of the way real quick. All right, hang on. Oh, 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 tripping over stuff. All right. Oh man, there's still a lot here. I think we should go a little over time and then do the rest tomorrow. Uh, with DJ home tomorrow too, I think it'll be uh, a little bit easier to go a longer time because I won't be thinking of all the things I need to get done because, uh, you know, DJ could be doing them or uh, at the very least um, she'll be here and know why <laughs> I'm not getting stuff done. Not that she ever holds me like responsible for that. It's just I feel bad. Okay, this says, enjoy your gift to all sweet kittens and cats from Jody Lynn and my two mom cats and three kittens. Oh, well, that's wonderful. And this is a great set of kitty toys. I see it's not just, I thought it was just a tunnel, but it's more than just a tunnel because we've got all these balls and roll around toys and a wand, uh, springs, fun tubes, uh, just a little bit of everything, the mice. That's fantastic. What a great set of toys. Uh, I'm not going to open it right this minute, but I think it's going to be wonderful. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where to put it now. I think... All right. We're getting ahead of ourselves. For now, I'm just going to do that. Okay. This I grabbed. It's covered in stickers as well. Probably should have been set out with the sticker stuff. Cool. <laughs> Wow, it's all stickers and, and tape up in here. Oh, okay. Something, something. Sticker tape parade. Uh, there we go. All right, we got it. Oh, I see already. I got some fun newspapers in here. Port Jersey Connection. Oh, wow. What is going on in that photo? It's... Really? Oh, I see. It's an aerial photo. I thought it was a bunch of shelves in a lobby, but it is an aerial photograph of the port with all the shipping containers. That makes more sense. Like, why are the shelves so crooked in this lobby? So you can clearly see it's a lobby with a little desk, a table, and a chair to sit in, and a, a, a coffee table, um, and then this walls. And what looks like a bookshelf that's just been put at a crazy angle, um, but it is not. All right, so there's a card. We also have the Hamilton post in here. That's going to be fun. Uh, rainbow girls mark 100 years of service. Oh, I don't even know what a rainbow girl is. Okay. Ah! <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. Uh, this is great, though. It's beautiful. Um, so this is a pop-up card first. There's a note, too, for us to read, but I'm going to pop up the pop-up card and set it out. Uh, there we go. All right, this can go right here, and this can go right here. 
There we go. And this one, we're going to stand, stand this back up. All right. Now, now we really got some cats playing piano. Okay. Good morning, Mr. A, Dr. DJ faculty, mom, cats, and kittens. Wishing all a Merry Christmas. May all receive everything they wish for, especially adopters. Enclosed are some gifts to use as you see fit. In the box, you will find some reading material, local papers, papers from our trip last June, and a copy of my work quarterly newsletter. I marked a special page. That must be this. Um, I marked a special page for you to see. All right. Well, that uh, we're oh look at that. You guys had a, a summer barbecue, and um, then we've got the Port Jersey Pets, and it is showing off the employees' pets. That is so cool. Whoa! Wait a minute. Uh, right in the middle is somebody familiar. I did not expect that. Right in the middle, we have Millet is a two and a half year old adopted from Kitten Academy and his adopted brother Sydney on the right. Huh, how about that? That's so cute. Uh, that's that's right there. That's little Millet right there. I can almost make out his silly little Millet face. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the uh, the cardboard condo behind him in the photo too. That's uh, that's really something. How about that? Uh, okay. So, um, okay, uh, I'm finally sending toys that I have procrastinated in sending. Here are a couple notes on the boys. Sydney has learned his lessons well from Professors Custard and Eddie. For Professor Custard, he has learned how to put on weight, and he is definitely a big boy. From Professor Eddie, he's learned and perfected his shedding techniques. Oh, he didn't look that big in the photo. Uh, Custard is over 17 pounds now. We really got to uh, help him out a little bit. This guy looks like he's doing okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, in the photo, Millet looks like the larger one. Very cute. Okay. Um, his shedding techniques, yeah. Uh, Millet has taken to heart the lessons of flour, uh, the lessons flour taught him about keeping clean. Oh, uh, he takes his absolution time very serious. Uh, from Professor Maggie, he also learned to shred paper. I also want you to know how much joy the boy gives us every day. The boys give us every day? Okay, uh, Kathy, Bill, Millet, and Sydney. Well, that's super special. I don't know how I didn't see that coming. Um, I'm going to put that note with this page in the book so I have those together. And then we have some wonderful papers for me to look through. The Hamilton Post, as I mentioned. Um, oh, they got a new mural, too. That's good to know. Uh, oh, we got some bags. Uh, these are some nice bags. Oh, and in it we have the Anchorage Daily News. Several copies, I see. So your trip must have been to Alaska. Wow, Alaska Speed Week brings racers from far and near. That sounds like fun. Uh, oh, there's more papers, too. Oh, this is going to be a lot. This is fun. Riverboat Discovery G Gazette, uh, Fairbanks, Alaska, riverboats. Wow. My parents took me on a little riverboat thing, uh, or they took themselves and had to bring us kids along, uh, my brother and I. I guess that's probably more true, but I have remember the river boat quite well because it was uh, such an unusual thing to do as a kid. So we have the People Papers, your free monthly community newspaper, a Bill and Mary Lee publication. That's just great. See, that's the kind of thing that's just great. Oh, we got a few of those. Okay, great. Uh, Ketchikan Daily News. Wow, Ketchikan. That's a cool name, too. Oof. Uh, not necessarily the best headlines, but this is going to be great. This artist here looks really cool. Wow, look at this guy. Painting a mural. We have the Sk Skagway Alaskan Free Paper. Ooh, the Skagway staff befriend and placate ghosts. Three local businesses that coexist with their specters. That sounds interesting. Gold and gold dredge and nugget news in Fairbanks, Alaska. What year is it? 
summer edition, uh, take one. I, oh, in 1928, uh, okay, let's see. Well, this is to 1959. I guess it's not, it's, I mean, it looks historical and the name's historical, but it's just about history. Very cool. We've got some uh, super high quality bags for us to use, which is nice. Look at that stack of papers. Oh man, I brought back to my childhood as a paper delivery boy. Another job I had that I was really bad at. Uh, we got some stickers here. These are the puffy ones. Look at that. We didn't get any puffy ones yesterday. I was talking about how the puffy ones are such the uh, one of the ones that were most sought after. So here we have a set of puffy cats, mostly wearing glasses, but not entirely. And this one, we've got three-dimensional cats and foster rescue adopt and who saved who. Here we've got some shiny Christmas cats and dogs. Um, not quite as puffy as they look, just a little three-dimensional. Here we've got black and white uh, cat sayings. <laughs> I don't fetch. Stop asking. Uh, some of our cats do. Here we have rainbow pineapples. Now, I don't know how that came about, but that's just about perfect. Party like a pineapple. Okay, be like a pineapple. Stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. That's cute, too. And a bunch of playful, stretching kitties of uh, various types. I love this little tiger-looking guy in the corner sitting up. Very cute. Okie dokie. We have a bag of, ooh, the good toys. It says 12 toys. These are those the ones with the little um, uh, fronds that are like the uh, fun tubes on them and rattles and feathers and the little Charlie balls at the end. Very complicated little toys that the cats love. Oh my goodness, this thing just keeps going and going. Here we have the Adam toys and uh, the fetch mice, the smarty cat skritter, skitter critters. That at least Loganberry still loves to play fetch with. He gets so insistent. Wow, I think I, I really need to take some time out for him uh, probably today because he has not been getting his quotient of uh, fetch and he's making it very clear uh, that he wants to. I'll wake up in the morning and the, uh, uh, like on the floor next, right next to my bed, all of his favorite fetch toys will be just sitting there and he'll be looking at me like, I've been bringing these to you all night, Dad. What are you doing? Uh, he doesn't quite seem to understand sleep, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> It's cute, though. Uh, all right, speaking of great toys, uh, these are great toys. I put out two of these from the pack that came in uh, in a mailbag just a couple weeks ago, and they are the most sought-after toys at the whole Academy right now. I don't know where those two are, but the rest of the open bag is in the cabinet, and I should put those out. Uh, they, they are getting a lot of play. Those are really good toys. These are the Cat Dancer uh, chasers, which are just, it's just a little piece of cardboard and a little piece of rainbow, uh, you know, like felt, uh, and they love it. It just makes a, a wonderful toy for them to chew and carry. We have, I don't know what these are. It says jump paws and they look like caterpillars. It's a new one on me. Well, I think I've described it as well as I can. They are caterpillars. They're called jump paws, and they've got little antenna on the front that are adorable. They've got Muppet faces and a, a little rattle on the inside. Look at that cute little Muppet face. The antenna are just as cute. They're little bits of string with knots tied in the end, uh, but I think they're kind of sticking together so you can't see so well. So there's two of those in the pack, and they're very, very cute. They're super fuzzy, too. Wow. One in a sort of a... Um, pastel green. One is sort of a pastel pink. This piece of tape is going to keep me from putting them back in the bag. No, I just had to tear the whole thing. Okay, well, oh, oh, oh okay. I, I guess um, I can set those right there for the moment. We have a bag of little um, balls and um, the, the worms. That This is, again, one of Logan's, this is Logan's very favorite thing in the whole world, is uh, these little worms, and I like to get them on the rubber balls, because then I can throw them and bounce them off walls and stuff, and it makes fetch way more entertaining for him. But if I don't play fetch with these, he will play fetch himself. He takes it by the, the worm end and swings his head and then lets go, and it goes flying, and then he'll go running after it. It's a lot of fun for everybody. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of springs. Like a ton of springs, so many springs. Uh, ooh, wow, this box just keeps going and going. Uh, look at that. We have uh, this amazing looking cat on a very heavy t-shirt. This is quality stuff. And it says, cats are like potato chips. You can never have just one. 
And uh, this cat has, uh, although he's got some bold neon uh, look to him, he's got very blue eyes that make me suspicious about the message being sent here. Uh, timely. It's timely is what we'll say. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, I guess I can go in this pile of stuff that I'm going to need to, to uh, disposition. Canvas catnip toys, soft catnip canvas. I guess that says it all. Oh, this is, I think we just saw this set come in a mailbag the other day for the very first time. And it's such a cool one. It's got all these really cool patterned uh, toys and animals that are in fact canvas and probably will last quite a while. This fox with the feathers is really cool. Oh, oh, oh. That is a, that's a fun set. Oh, the lion. Yes, I remember the lion. Oh man, he's super cool. And the fish that matches him. Those are completely cool. Oh, the lion's face is just great. Those are fantastic. Uh, thank you for sending those along. There's so much more in this box. Hang on. Not this box. That was it. But this box, there is a lot. Uh, so let me put the canvas toys back in for now. This is, uh, it says cute crab. And it is, uh, it does look to be cute and a crab. I don't know what else to say, but uh, it's, it's got a, it's a little speech bubble that says, hey, I am here. Yeah, cool. All right. Oh, wow. It says it's, it glows, it crawls, and it can sense and avoid obstacles. Oh, that could be fun for the cats, couldn't it? It says, ha ha, can you catch me? That sounds really cool. Hmm. I love little electronic toys to check out, especially for the cats. So this should be, uh, this should be something fun to try out. Uh, thank you. This is a mermaid cat sitter. All right. Uh, I don't know what those words mean in that particular order, but it appears to be a mermaid uh, holding a fish. Oh, I see sitter. I mean, but it's got uh, its legs are probably bent so that you can put it on the edge of like your mantle or something, right? Uh, and it says it's from Cracker Barrel. And I remember a long time ago, I think it was them, or at least somewhere, I used to see these frogs, uh, mostly fishing, that, that were sitters like that, that you'd sit on something. And I always thought the frogs looked really cute. This is even cuter. It is a fish mermaid, and I'm guessing that it is made to sit on something. Exactly. Yes. Okay. I got it. I got it figured out. How about that? It's so pretty and it's a great size uh, and it's got sparkly little mermaid uh, fins and the little fish it's holding. It's got such a happy look about it. Hi, Custard. Okay. I'm going to put it right there on the crab for a minute and he, she can just sit right there. Uh, that's really, really cute. I'm going to have to find the right spot to put that. Trying to, I'm just thinking where, like where I might put it that DJ would see it, um, but not right away. I'll think of something that's really cool. This is, says, I, I just want to sip coffee and pet my cat. Now, that sounds like me. Sounds like somebody I know. This is cat toys, and uh, it looks like some sort of alien stethoscope and a mouse and a USB port. Wow, uh, that's, oh, I see. It is a door hanging toy, but it's got a motor in it too, so it can make the mouse jump around. That's a great idea. Uh, and it looks like it's just sort of attached at the one end too, so it's not something that's going to get all tangled up or whatever. Uh, really cool. Look at it. So you can see it's the door hanger part at the top. It looks like a stethoscope, but you, uh, you put that over your door or attach it to anything. It also says, and it's got a spring, so it clamps on really well. It's got the dangly rope. Now the dangly rope with the mouse on the end, and then in the middle, it's got a little motor and a USB charger on it and a power button. That is going to be a lot of fun to play with uh, for me, maybe for the cats. Oh, oh my goodness, we're going to have to put her someplace where she doesn't get moved around very often. Okay, you sit right there. Uh, let's see. There's still more here, okay? There are, oh, chocolate wafers, oh, vanilla wafers. It's wafers to go, chocolate and vanilla. And it is 20 packs of, 10 each of chocolate and vanilla wafers, which 
Uh, wafers are something that DJ likes a lot, and I like uh, quite a bit too. Like, I, they'll definitely get eaten around here. This looks really good. I think DJ might be a huge fan of wafers, though. I don't know. She's always, um, whenever there's one around, she she wants to try it out. There was uh, the hazelnut ones that came from overseas most recently, and that was the first thing I think she opened from that. Um, well, that and the truffles. Were they part of the same pack? They are just on the same day or something? Now, this is cute because we do uh, lamb's wool duster, and I use it as a cat toy all the time, but I've never seen a miniature lamb's wool duster, and uh, that would make a wonderful cat toy. Or I can use it to dust little things, but here, do you need some dusting? Yeah, oh, that's fun, isn't it? That's fun. I didn't know they came in this size. <laughs> Just so, you know, when you have to do a little dusting. Uh, yeah, that's so cute. I, I think that the most fun thing to do with this, of course, will be to keep it uh, by the bed to play with the kittens. It's a perfect size for like a kitten introduction to the duster toy. That's really cool. Also, we have a Valentine's Day Be Mine kitchen towel, as I think you mentioned, right there. And then finally at the bottom, lots more of the Christmas uh, tissue paper. Okay, got that out of the way. So we got this, and we got this, and we got, oh, what is this? Uh, wow, lots of it. Oh, pastel rainbow color, that's fun. So those will be great for the next tissue pit. These guys are probably about due for. This is adorable. I gotta put this right in my pocket so it goes to the appropriate place. I'm trying to decide. Uh, we are already quite a bit over, but uh, I think we should at least open one more thing, maybe a few. Thank you so much to Sydney and Millet. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun here. Okay. If I can figure out um, how to. Let's see. Well, these, I, these can go for this with the endowment stuff. This I'm just going to move out of the way right now. Oh, hang on. I'll come right back. I really want to put it on our kitchen, uh, the, the, the vent over the stove, but it's, if I do, it'll get covered in cooking grease eventually, so that's not cool. Here we go. I can put it right over here. Uh, I say over here as though you can see me and not just hear me um, next to our photo frame for now. No, no, because the cats have figured out how to get up there, and they will not get down. There we go. Okay. I think I got it wedged in there right now, so they can't hopefully knock it down. Okay, perfect. Oh, hey, look at that. Here's one right here. I was sitting on it. That's why they couldn't find it. I didn't get another box. Oh, I got to do that too. Uh, well, let's see. How can we grab a certain number of these? There's a chewy box from Laura Kitten Fan and a very heavy Amazon bat box that must have a note in it. Those have got to be foods and litters. So I'm not going to try to pick those up yet. Let's see. Oh, wow. Something that's almost a letter here, too. I didn't anticipate. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do these, and then we'll save the rest for... And I just picked these at random because they were kind of in a pile. Uh, we'll do these. We'll save the rest for tomorrow. Buddy, do you want to play with this? Is that what you want? It's a fun toy for everybody. No? What are you looking for? You look like you're looking for something in particular. Oh, is it this? Did you want this back? Nope. He's sniffing for something. What do you smell, pal? Is it the silver vine? Is it this silver vine? Is that what you smell? Okay, so let's keep rolling here.
This is a very three-dimensional card going on here. It's thick. It says, hope your holidays are fur real amazing. And it's got a cat poking its head through a wreath. As you can see. It says hyper pop-ups on the back. Okay. Oh, wow. It is a hyper pop-up. And on the inside, we have an entire Christmas scene with cats flying off the top of the Christmas tree and hanging from a wreath and on the uh, mantle everywhere. Uh, and a cat here that looks a lot like little Mural, too, uh, in the corner, kind of making that face. Yeah, kind of. She's a long-haired, though. It says... Uh, because no one deserves a perfect Christmas more than you. Best wishes to all at Kitten Academy. Lily Cat. Lily Cat, thank you. I don't know how we almost missed your card back there in the pile. It probably got put with the packages because it was so thick. Ooh, well, this is Churu. Uh, 20 tubes of Christmas Churu Holiday Edition. Whoa, that's special. All right. Uh, and it says, Dear K.A., we hope this holiday season is filled with lots of joy, good health, and happiness. Please feel free to use the churu as you see fit. Have a wonderful holiday and a fantastic new year from Max, Caper, and the Balkarans. I should have said the bees. Too late now. Uh, thank you so much, you guys. That is really sweet. I know uh, we have a lot of fun. That's Max slash Caper, of course. We have a, we have a lot of fun with the, the photos that you get a chance to send us. And much appreciated. So this is sweet for you to send for everybody else. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know where to put it yet. Okay, we'll get all that sorted out. We don't have to worry about that now. I'll worry about that after we get through these things. Uh, thank you, though. Ooh, oh my goodness. This is addressed to Professor T. Jansen. Hmm. Oh, how did all these things arrive before the announcement? That, all right. Uh, oh, this is great. More papers. All right, let's see here. Professor Teaspoon Jansen and family. Hmm. Joy to the world. And it's got a great little sketch here of, uh, let's see, little baby Jesus and the manger and Mary and Joseph and a whole bunch of sheep and a couple bunny rabbits and some angels. Very cute. It says, wishing you wonder and happiness at Christmas and always. Oh, wishing you and all the felines and their human staff at KA wonder and happiness at Christmas and always. It says, okay, for Mr. A to read during mailbag. Thank you very much. It says, Professor Teaspoon, congratulations on receiving tenure. The enclosed stocking is for you. Wow, I guess you got the news uh, early there. It says, the candy is for Mr. A, the socks, tea, and tea strainer for Dr. DJ. And the catnip caves are for you, I think it says caves, are for you to distribute as you see fit. Oh, as you see fit. <laughs> okay, let's just go. Uh, the Keep rolling. The magnet is for the KA Kitchen Refrigerator. I'm also enclosing a newspaper for Mr. A to read to you. UB Nam Rosarium. Zarium. Oh, man, even with the pronunciation here, I can't do it right. Okay, let's see what all that means. So, first off, we do have a newspaper for me to read to Professor Teaspoon, apparently. And I will. It says, uh, Vintage 1983. Uh, oh, I must say 40 years of being awesome. I see. It lo really looks like 90, and I was trying to figure out how that math works. Uh, very cute. A fine vintage for Willamette Valley. All right. Project Salmon Claws. Project Salmon Claws. Oh, I see. Delivered gifts to children living at tribal fishing sites. That's super cool. Salmon Claws, though. Come on, guys. All right. Let's see. So this is the Oregonian. Very fun. And then, as you say, there's a beautiful stocking here that I, I would save until tomorrow. You did list the contents, but uh, considering that you did list the contents, let's take a look here. We've got... Oh, oh, per tea, tea infuser with a little kitty. Oh, wow, it looks like a kitty sitting up. It's even apparently on the back. You can see the fact that it's got legs and a body and everything inside the tea. I wonder which part's open for the tea to come out of. <laughs> I mean, you know, for the, the water and tea to mingle in, I suppose. Uh, I guess we'll have to find out. This is, ooh, Oregon Marionberry Chocolate Bar. I don't know, is Marionberry like a type of berry, or is it a place? I guess it could be both. 
either. I have no idea. Um, I don't see an ingredient that says Marionberry though, so maybe uh, maybe it's a place. <laughs> maybe it's a person. Let's keep going. Oh, the bags! I see catnip uh, paper bags that are catnip caves. Aha! Uh -huh. I see catnip coated paper bags. I think I should put all this back in here for DJ to go through tomorrow. Oh, really fuzzy, uh, I mean floofy cat mom slipper socks that have, uh, they've got little rubber uh, pips on the bottom so that they stick to the floor. So you know you're supposed to just wear them by themselves. Here we have Bigelow Green Tea, which is DJ's deal, but this one has elderberry for her to try. That should be interesting. I, I thought I smelled some something like an elderberry just now. Like got a whiff of a, something berry-like. Oh, there's a very cute pewter kitten here wearing a Christmas hat. Wow, he's heavy too. I mean, that's solid uh, pewter or lead. Uh, very cool. And then, as you said, the magnet is the Portland Theater, and it's got two cats photoshopped all over it. What's playing? What's playing is Bite Bird Portland, Join Portland Zany Dance Cats. Well, Bite Bird Portland. Uh, well, that, that's, that's what it says it is. I don't know what those words mean together, but I could ch uh, look it up, I suppose. And you said it's for the fridge, but I've been taking a bunch of the ones from the fridge and trying to get them to stick to this box if they're going to. It's not a lot of room on here, but I'm just going to put that right on it. Very cool. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, that smells yummy. Very berry. Okay. Sounds like I'm talking about the British baking show now. Let's put that in here. Okay, let's put that right back. Stockings in stockings. Oh, man. It's like something an Amazon employee would do. I don't know why I say that. Amazon people are wonderful. I'm just making fun, you know, of... I don't even know what I'm making fun of when I say that. Uh, okay. Let's see. So this has to go with my papers, and I don't know where the rest of them are now. Papers, papers, please. I'll put that right there. Um, was that, that was everything, right? I mean, the box is here and empty, and I didn't forget to talk about anything that came out, I hope. So that's wonderful. Uh, U -B, U B Nam. Nah, mm -mm. I, thank you. Oh, wow, this is a heavy sweater. This is a, this is a lot of warm. Oh, it's a hoodie. Look at that. And it's got pockets, and it's got an oddly little uh, blue-eyed kitten here. Uh, wearing um, a green collar and surrounded by Christmas things. Well, this looks like a, like a teaspoon commemorative adoption uh, shirt. But I don't think there's any more note here. It came straight from... Well, there's a piece of something in here. Packing slip. No, that's not, uh, unless unless the person who sent it to us was named Packing Slip, this doesn't really tell us anything, uh, except that it's wonderful. I mean, it's clearly teaspoon. It's clearly a teaspoon adoption uh, thing, and there's the little blue eyes and the little green collar that he even has. I'm not sure where DJ's put it now, but um, I remember somebody saying that I had to get a photo of him wearing it, and I don't think I did with the green one, did I? There was one that I, I put on him and got some photos with, and the other one I hadn't, I don't think. Uh, but I gave it to DJ, and I'm not sure where it is now. It was sitting in my office for the longest time before that. Hmm. I may have to go looking, but this is super cute. And I know that, uh, that DJ's going to really appreciate this, too. Uh, it's big enough for me to wear, so I might get a chance to wear it also. But that, that printing on it is just so pretty with the blue eyes. Oh, Okay. Uh, there is nothing else to tell me who that came from, though, so whoever it was, thank you very much. And, um, I guess, uh, uh, let me know, uh, if you were the one who sent it. Is that, is that the right thing? Did I get lost in something? I feel like I'm forgetting something that, uh, you know, like I set something aside and forgot it. And, uh, I, that's something I do all the time. Just got a nagging feeling. It's all right. So this is also from overseas, and it's got all these really cool Christmas stickers on it. Ooh, and kitten stickers on it. I'm trying to figure out how to get this thing open here. I think this is going to do it. Maybe. Maybe. Not quite. 
Oh man, it's tricky. Boxes are tricky. There we go. Ah. Oh, well, see, there's all these instructions too. Lay the box flat and familiarize yourself with the various key coated flaps and fold here edges. Wow. That first step would just about lose. This is why we don't do it this way here. I, just, I don't know if anybody would take the time to familiarize themselves with the, uh, the box folding technique. All right, this has got a lot of stuff in it. I was hoping to find a note someplace. Hmm. Wow, this is uh, a lot of owls going on in here. Hmm, an unusual number of owls. Also an unusually low number of notes. Oh man, we gotta call Jay Walter Weatherman. What's going on here, you guys? No, 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 uh -uh. no note. Okay, well maybe I can look. Hang on. First off, uh, let's let's take a look real quick to see. Did I cover up a return address? I did. Can I get it back uncovered? Okay. Well, there is a name there. But uh, maybe we'll find the note as we go through all of these owls. This is like a whole bunch of owls. Alice the owl would be like completely enthused about this box. I think the cats will be too. So, oh, this is a peacock. These aren't owls at all, but there are owls. Trust me, okay? That's why I was confused. Uh, there's definitely going to be owls, but these aren't. These are peacocks. They could pass as owls. Come on, just colorful owls with a little crest. Owls come in all kinds of varieties, uh, but these are peacocks. Okay, here's, here's an owl, so you don't think I'm crazy. Uh, a little owl that matches them very well. And then we have another one of those as well. We have these kickers that say, meet the boss on them. Uh, Battersea, he, cat kicker. Okay, super soft kicker with rustling foil. Oh, those look like these are gonna be fun for them. Very cool. Uh, oh wow, a whole bunch of those too. And springs, uh, 12 springs. That's, uh, these are the, the, like the skinny springs. We don't see those as often. Those are going to be super fun for the kids too. Awesome. Uh, well, I don't think I missed a note. I just, I think there wasn't a note, but the name said Stuart. So Stuart, I want to say thank you very much. Let's make sure there's not a note tucked into one of these edges. No note though. Stuart, come on now. All right. Well, uh, it's still very much appreciated. And I know the kitties are going to love it. And if you want to send a note, you can send it uh, by email or uh, on the Discord if you're on the Discord. Just, you know, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. I think I have to save the rest of this for tomorrow. It's 1230 now, and uh, it's Christmas Eve. I know you guys have got stuff to do with your families, probably a lot of cooking and stuff. Um, so, uh, and I've got a lot of stuff to clean up and try to get ready for the week and all that. So I'm going to do this. We will meet again tomorrow on Christmas Day at 11 o'clock, and we'll try to get through everything that's left then, um, because otherwise uh, we'll be pushing Christmas for the whole year, and we don't need that much Christmas. So uh, thanks again to everybody who sent everything. I'm really excited for DJ to see some of this stuff, and for the kittens to see some of this stuff, and for me to see some of this stuff. Um, so thank you very much to everybody. Uh, I'm going to start picking this up. I'm going to turn off my mic and get the regular sound back on and we'll just do the rest of it like we always do.
these together, these together. Somebody got to this, or was it me? cards out for the kittens to go into some point here, some point very soon, <laughs> before the moment's lost, uh, we'll get there. What are you digging around for, kiddo? I guess when I bring this stuff downstairs, I should take a minute to find our candles that have got to be down there. Because uh, they're really, really the last minute. I think that's basically everything. A lot of cleanup to do in here, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of cleanup to do all over right now. Uh, we'll get to it. All right. Well, since I got to carry that stuff down and search the basement, uh, thanks so much, everybody. I, I just Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope yours is as good as mine already is.